Hello, I'm Scott from Fudge Muppet, and today I will be taking you inside my mind to show you my thoughts on armor slots in Elder Scrolls 6. Now by armor slots, I mean how many individual pieces of armor we can select to wear. In the history of Elder Scrolls games, there have been many changes to the armor system. In Morrowind, the player had the choice of clothing and robes, and then on top of that, they could add armor pieces such as the helmet, cuirass, greaves, left gauntlet, right gauntlet, left pauldron, right pauldron, and boots. So if you wanted to mix and match these pieces to achieve the color scheme of Toucan Sam, theoretically you could. In Oblivion, this was reduced to being only able to select boots, greaves, cuirass, gauntlets, and helmet. Then in Skyrim, we could only choose armor, which includes cuirass, greaves, and pauldrons in the one slot, and then helmet, gauntlets, and boots. So only four slots. Now I love Skyrim, but I will admit this was kind of sucky. Not the best feature they added, or took away. I can deal with Oblivion's variety, but as someone who likes to express his hidden passion for fashion through video games, I would definitely prefer more options along the lines of Morrowind. This is also what Bethesda tries to achieve in their games, player freedom of choice and customization. So we think they should bring back the extra armor slots so that I can essentially play socially acceptable Barbie because it's a video game. In all seriousness, this is a desired feature by many fans and for role players like us, it adds way more variety to the aesthetic of a character. You can create that gladiator look where you only have the pauldron and gauntlet on your striking arm or you can have a badass knight with a cloak over his armor or a character who only wears the bare essential cuirass so he can remain quicker. Which of course would have to be backed up by in-game mechanics. If weight or armor was to impair movement speed, it could incentivize this kind of choice. But remember, it would be sort of defense versus movement. But that's mainly a topic for another video. The point is, more options allows you to have a cooler looking character that is more unique to you. But one of the main reasons I decided to do this topic today is because of Fallout 4. If you aren't already aware, we've been doing plenty of videos on Fallout 4, analyzing every little detail in our spare time. As you know, Fallout 4 is being made made by the glorious Todd Howard leading Bethesda Game Studios, the company which have made all the Elder Scrolls games. Well, in Fallout 4, they have announced a new layered armor system which features a base layer of clothing which you can then layer armor pieces on top of to your liking. So as we can see, there is an option for helmet, chest piece, left arm, right arm, left leg, and right leg. Fallout 3, their last Fallout game, featured only an armor slot and a head slot. So they've made a step forward in customization, and with this in mind, I think there will be more of a likelihood that Bethesda will have Elder Scrolls 6 return to an armor system with more armor slots than Skyrim. Perhaps the layer system like Fallout 4. It all makes sense to me, and the layer system is quite similar to Morrowind's layered system, how you could wear clothes, under armor, and then even robes over that armor. This all makes sense to me, but I want to know, does this make sense to you? Like the video if you want to see more armor slots in the Elder Scrolls 6, and please share your ideas about potential armor slot systems below. And remember, feel free to request any ideas for discussion. We have a long list already, but the more the merrier. Remember to follow me on Twitter as well, because the comments on YouTube can be a little overwhelming and it's very hard to keep up with all of them. So Twitter is the easiest place to contact me and basically get a guaranteed reply. Thank you for watching this. Do share this around with others who may like it and agree. This is an ongoing series of discussions relating to Elder Scrolls 6, releasing every Friday up until the release of the game. So if you love talking about it, subscribe and stick around for more, and I'll see you next time.